lights up? Because I, I, nothing so detailed that it really warrants this, and I'd rather see your bright, shining faces. And uh, I also realized that uh, it's not always the first presentation after lunch, it's sometimes the second one. Uh, with the, yeah, so this is also ulterior mode, so I want to see who's not enough. So how many of you heard about the MapQuest uh, AOL announcement at Girona? So it's about two thirds, that's pretty good. Uh, are there any questions about it now before I start to make sure that I actually address it while I'm talking instead of, you know, were you waiting for 25 minutes to ask the question that, well, what about? For the, for the third that didn't hear, do you want to share what that was? Sure. Uh, what we did was announced a, uh, a version of mapquest.com or .co.uk with OSM data. So it's built on mostly a new map stack, but it's also the OSM content. And you can also pan wherever you want in the world because we loaded the planet OSM file. Where is it? I click off oh, the box there. Uh, so this is where we are here in Atlanta, and it, but it's off the UK site. Uh, it was easier for us to load everything than try to just take a piece of it out. But this is uh, the routing works, uh, search kind of works, it, but it's uh, basically OSM data, but with a MapQuest front end, including styles and tiles. Search? Yes, yeah, so, so, already. Well, then you, so you, so you mentioned, well, th th that, was only, that was only a third of your announcement. Okay. Right. Uh, right. That we're going to be spending money to try to help the OSM community right. uh, uh, wherever we can, yes. And, and then the third one was your, your style editor. And that the styles are, yeah, well, I said tiles and styles, so I will get, so this, the tiles are out there for public use and something that uh, I'll just go ahead and jump five slides ahead. Uh, we're now updating the tiles, which is even more important. Uh, we got them out in time for the show, but barely, like two days before. Uh, in the, the months since, we figured out how to get updates out there. So now we're doing them, best case is about every 15 minutes. So we're doing it at least two or three times an hour. Uh, Whenever the uh, the planet file gets updated, we we do another build and push it automatically. So we're working on that. The styles are also getting better too. There were some holes in the styles because well, there's some things that we don't have on MapQuest. So things like pedestrian trails and bike trails, we didn't have it before, so it wasn't in our style. So we just didn't render it, which is kind of a little oversight. But you know we figured out some of that and are making uh, modifications to our style files so that that's available. So the, um, the tiles are out there, uh, just change, takes a small change in your string, let's see. On the wiki, this is what you change it from and change it to, to use the tiles. So use them as much as you like. We got some questions about, well, I've got a really big application, or what limits do you have on it? And it's like, well, we don't really have any. We, the best we could figure out with Akamai is like 4,000 requests a second might slow it down. So we're not, please, if you've got something that can use it, we, we want you to pound the hell out of it. That's what it's there for. Are you at liberty to tell us what kind of hardware you've thrown at it? <sighs> I might be if I was the right one to ask the question. <laughs> Nesbitt, do you know anything? I think we have 12 servers in Frankfurt, Germany that are handling um, a handful for routing and the rest And the, the tiles are Akamai anyway. So they're... An edge CDN yeah. solution. And Akamai basically builds great steaming cheap servers and puts them all over the world. I think that's a technical term, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> But yeah, that's the whole idea with the Akamai is that wherever you hit it in the world, uh, if the tile wasn't generated on that server, it is on that request. So that when you hit it the next time, it's already there and that the performance gradually gets better instead of worse. So you're actually rendering on the edge in the CDN? No, we're rendering no, pre -rendering. on those, in those, within those 12 boxes. Yeah. We're doing rendering <laughs> and routing on those. And those get pushed out to the edge based on 
request. So, thanks, Serge. Okay, I'll I'll get to the. Any other questions? No, let's do it. All right. <laughs> so, there's. How many of you MapQuest as part of AOL? So less of the people who knew that. I actually happened almost 10 years ago. Uh, and AOL is now an independent company again for the first time since the Time Warner acquisition, reverse merger, whatever the hell happened there. Uh, the, it's now a publicly traded company as of December of last year. So AOL Local is a group that can, con, consists of MapQuest and Patch and Cities Best. So I'll tell you a little bit about what those are. I think most of you know about MapQuest, but also check out new.mapquest.com, which is our, a new version that launched earlier, uh, less than a month ago, and full traffic will be on it later this month. But it has improvements in both styles and functionality on the search. Um, patch is something that was an acquisition by AOL and it's a hyper-local group of sites. So hyper-local meaning it's kind of a replacement to local newspapers. It's hiring a journalist for a little town in that started in New Jersey, Connecticut, New York, uh, but is, is quickly growing from there, where that person is responsible for getting the local news stories and keeping up with the local sports teams and uh, reporting on the chain of vandalisms of mailboxes in this neighborhood or all of the things that are, are very germane to an area that really local newspapers are quickly becoming a thing of the past. This is a, a new journalism model. It's part of AOL's commitment to try to become more of a content company rather than just an advertising company. They, when they were acquired uh, almost a year ago, they were in about 25 markets. So they're already at 100. They are going to be at several hundred by the end of the year. So they're hiring very quickly. Oops. Nope. We can so, just yes. I, I looked at Patch and, and I, I think it was using OSM. Or yes. Yeah. That's actually where I'm going next. Um, Thank you. Yes. And I was just wondering if you if you tried to recruit the local editors to hand them a GPS. That's that. one of the things that, with varying various degrees of success. Okay. So I wonder if that scatter curve that we saw uh, from Nama's presentation would actually apply. To the, uh, to the editor community too. The, when Patch was originally launched, it was on uh, Google Maps, and then they moved to OSM in November of last year. And the main reason that they wanted uh, to move to OSM is the ability to control the content. So it's putting, uh, it, it is the park benches, the hiking trails, but also if you've got a story about school districts and being able to put the school district on top and show exactly where this or uh, where this particular point of interest is, not and they're also trying to build long term uh, a local advertising market. But the first thing you've got to do is get the location of all the local businesses, and that's not something it, uh, that is easily acquired. Uh, when we look at the the things that we try to do within. Uh, MapQuest just trying to keep a, a directory. You know, we start with Info USA and do all these permutations just to get it kind of right, and it's still not, still not there. So this will have, uh, there will, there will be more participation, but it's already in these communities. They're actively working on uh, more of the business listings than they and the parks and things like that than it has been street geometry. But the big news is, I mean, but the point is, you you have been making contributions. Oh yes. And so this new announcement isn't that aspect is not new. Well, it's the more is new, the financing versus just right. the community. Because also I trying to that patch was doing that. well, also trying to get past patch because right. no one really knows it when it's happening in 30, 30 towns in a three state area around New York City. Yeah, but if this model perpetuates. Yes, when it's happening in hundreds of places, because they uh, patch until this year didn't even have anything on the West Coast. Cities Best is a, uh, a 
a name that we saw for years, but during the Time Warner era, uh, they actually stopped doing City's Best for at least a year. So they stopped doing you know, the top 25 barbecue restaurants in Atlanta and things like that. So they're, they're going to be going back, uh, relaunching this in the next quarter. So that's the third piece of the, uh, the AOL local community. So Patch is already using OSM, and MapQuest launched last month this, at State of the Map, the .co.uk site. And what Patch is trying to do is, well, the first thing they did was start working with the, the pieces of the puzzle, not just the OSM data, but MapNIC and Talcache and trying to create uh, a better map stack that gave them more control, but also make improvements to those and post them back into the community. And the, of course, the editors to do the updates. And as I said, some are more technical than others, and we, we think we need to give them more help. They're kind of indicative of the community at large. What we're doing at MapQuest, though, is first we launched the UK site, but we're going to, going to also localize that into German, French, etc., and do our other uh, European sites. We're also using MapNIC and Talcache and Nominatum, but we are using our own uh, routing, which seems to work just fine with the OSM data. Um, we're also engaging the developers to contribute back to the open source project, so we've already made some bug fixes in Nominatum, and with, uh, uh, with MapNIC we've added SVG support and done some things around high res. So what we do is make the changes and then post it back and then download it again and build our production version off of that. So please use our beta tiles, just look on the wiki page on the uh, OpenStreetMap site for all the technical information about that. Also, some of the things we're talking about now haven't been updated on the wiki yet, but will be by next week. So the routing in, the Europe, in Europe does work. Um, what we've noticed really is that the search doesn't. So if you know where you're going to, and that's really why we launched the UK site first. Uh, the, the data was a lot better than the US, and in the US, we need better addressing and better routing attributes, especially one way is turn restrictions. So we didn't launch something that said MapQuest in the, specifically for the US because of the brand impact. But we still, it's a UK site, but you could do everything in the US. You can still check it out. And I tried to do some examples of the routing in the US, but I couldn't come up with two addresses that worked while, so we realize that that's something that we can potentially help with because three areas that we think that we can contribute to the community, and I know there's going to be a lot of leeriness on, okay, we don't want con commercial entities playing in our back backyard or, you know, you saw the there were 12 percent of the people in uh, NAMA survey that said that if uh, if a commercial entity participates, they're going to stop. Well, there's going to be some backlash of that because well, open shouldn't mean this and this. Uh, I think anytime you have uh, early converts, sometimes people get resistant because things change as as there's progress. But for us, reach infrastructure and tools. And I lay them out in this way. For Reach, MapQuest touches 50 million people a month, 50 million unique visitors. So if we can do some things that raise the profile of OSM, hopefully everyone will benefit from that. And if MapQuest and Patch can contribute back to the, the raw content itself, that itself will, will start fueling the fire. And But we also know that there's there's some limitations to that. We're going to have to make it more accessible for them to make edits, and we're going to have to do validation for them, not just collect a bunch of stuff that never gets processed. For infrastructure, things like the tiles that we've already done and publishing the map styles, uh, we're also trying to work with OSM about scalability, such as providing money for new servers to try to expand the back end. Uh, capacity. So we're trying to make tangible contributions on some areas like that. We're also uh, having discussions about uh, 
things that we know about redundancy, et cetera, that we'd like to, to share with the community. We're talking with the folks in the UK about, okay, how can we help with these types of things? And within tools, the first thing that we'd like to talk about is that routing API we used for the .co.uk site. Uh, we have now published it, and we will be making it available to the community, and David Nesbitt will be doing a presentation on that tomorrow morning. So the MapQuest routing, along with all of our patented stuff on multi-point routing and optimized routing, is now available off of OSM data. Now, all of the things aren't like route matrix, and it, we've got some other things that that aren't in there yet, <laughs> but it's a, it's a great start. We also have, uh, as I mentioned, made some improvements to Mapnik and to Nominatum, and we'll continue to do that uh, wherever we can. And we see as the next element that we can help with data collection tools or making uh, web tools and mobile tools that make it easier for folks to collect data about both the geometry and business information and get it posted back into OSM with the, to try to shorten that learning curve and make it a lot easier for the general public or casual users. So if we, Patch is a great example. If we do something to make it easier for someone that is a local editor for Patch to do data entry on a business. Well, that's the same tool someone else could use to just put information about businesses in their neighborhood. So why not make that publishable or extensible, but also have enough of a wrapper around it that the learning curve is a lot lower. It's not loading a piece of software or trying to figure out the data structure. It's here's the input fields that I have to input, and it doesn't accept it and post it unless I fill all of these out or at least here's the primary ones and maybe optional ones are hours of operation or credit cards taken for businesses or uh, parks. It's okay, hours of operations wouldn't be there, but uh, for us, we're really excited about having more control on the content. Uh, parking lots alone, you know, when you're routing to a business, you end up in a downtown area and you're in front of the building and have no idea what to do next instead of routing to the parking lot that's near the business so that you can park and then walk the last block. So it's, it's going to make a better experience for, uh, for everyone. We're also hiring both full-time and contract positions. So some of the people that are making these changes to Mapnik and Nominatum uh, and uh, are already active in the OSM community, and we're just paying them to work to do work that they've been that they started years ago. So we we know that we're novices here and can really use the help in direct and direction from uh, from the OSM community at large. If you have comments, suggestions, there is a uh, email address at open at mapquest.com, and there's also uh, happy to take any additional questions now. So, so you, you released the styles. Um, so those are all Mapnik styles that, that are public, or how, how did that work? I'll tell you what I know. Okay. <laughs> They're out on GitHub, and they should be all Mapnik styles. Cool. So, so we can generate we can generate the same types of tiles. That you can get on, on Correct. That's awesome. Yes, and you can make additional because it's published out there. If you need to enhance it and post it back, please do because it's just posted on GitHub. It's not ours anymore. It's a starter kit. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. Yes, Mr. Coast. I just want to say awesome. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Then I'm going to leave quickly before anybody comes up with anything else. <laughs> oh, I do have one last thing to say. Uh, we're not done. And there were two other things that we were trying to get done for this week that didn't make it under the wire for legal or technical reasons. So uh, one of them is the, the Germany site that I wasn't supposed to mention. Uh, the other, but there are uh, some other technical pieces that will be available soon. So uh, stay tuned.